I am with Dr. Micah Christensen at Anthony's Fine Art today. So Micah, number one, thanks for letting us come on today. Now, I have to admit, I went to college at Utah State University and the <laughs> valley is called Cache Valley. That's right. You know, where they had the cache of trappers and everything. That's right. And this kind of looks reminiscent. This is set in the Cache Valley. The man on the horseback is Captain Bonneville, ah. who helped establish the fur trading that happened up in Cache Valley in the mid 19th century. Now there's a lot of things named Bonneville in Utah. That's right. And I'm guessing a lot of people don't know why. This is the Corpus Delecti, the actual person named Bonneville. He was born in France as a young graduating officer from the US Military Academy. The most attractive things to do with your time are to explore. Sure. And he was sent back west as part of a military expedition and a peaceful military expedition and as part of a commercial effort by John Jacob Astor ah. to uh, explore and map the Oregon Trail. In fact, the Mormon pioneers were dependent on the maps created by Captain Bonneville to make their way from the East Coast to the West. Who is the person that made this beauty? Minerva Tykert has become a household name regionally, but I, I think she's on the precipice of becoming a, a nationally known figure. She was born in Ogden, Utah, but she trained at the Art Institute of Chicago and then the Art Students League of New York. She is one of the most highly trained and accomplished artists of her generation and was recognized by people like Robert Henry, who is her professor in New York, as being one of his greatest talents. But unlike many artists who stayed in New York on either coast, he told her to go paint the story of her people. Ah. And being from the Inner Mountain West, she comes back to Utah, Wyoming, Idaho. She ends up settling in Cokeville, Wyoming, and she looks for books and materials on the history of the local area and finds a book on Captain Bonneville and begins making these monumental canvases. This is one of two that she did depicting Captain Bonneville. 